Welcome. Today we're going to look at a Obsidian plugin that helps you get word counts for your novels, for different areas of uh, your Obsidian vault. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Number one, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Members get my courses included, or you can take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Uh, you can just buy them individually, or you can find the links to them all below on Skillshare if you already have a Skillshare membership. Buckle up, let's look at novel word count for Obsidian. So this is my vault. Look at my vault. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to hit command comma on Mac to go to settings, or you can go down to the gear here, settings. We're in community plugins. If you don't have them turned on, you'll actually have to turn them on. This will look a little different. So we'll browse and we'll search for a word count. We're looking for novel word count. So this will say install and enable. I'm just going to enable it because I already have it installed. And we can go to the options to start. Actually, let's show you what it looks like to start. So what it sh shows me is how many words are inside a folder, right? And it also shows me now what's last updated because I've changed some of the options. So that's really what it does. So if you have, say, a folder, so this is my Art of Focus book, which I lost the copy of and need to retype. Um, it has 300 words in it right now. It was last updated on December uh, 5th. So I need to work on that. But this is what it allows you to do. It allows you to throw, show three pieces of data. So you can say I have last updated here. That is one of them. I can also say page count. So now it shows me that there's 16 pages in my books to read. And it figures that based on word uh, word number right here. So 300 words. So you can change that if you want. If you want to be 400 words, right? 400. Enter. I think I'd hit reanalyze. Right. So now it's changed. We can also go to uh, page count, page count decimal. So that's going to show me that it's 12.78 pages or 11.34. I can do note count. It shows me how many notes are in each one. 20 notes in my inbox, uh, right? Work in progress community is one note. So the next one will actually change that. If I do note count to folders only, you see my note count uh, dis or disappeared beside my single note because it's just one note. And I can also do character count if I wanted. All right, how many characters are in things? That's my second piece of data. Or I can go created date. When was it created? Or last updated date. When was the last updated in this folder? And then you can really do this with three pieces of data. So I could say page count as well, if I wanted. Now I have three pieces of data, although we're getting pretty big, it's hard to see. One of the other options we can do is to say it says inline. We can say below. But I find this, now that's really hard to look at. So I'm not going to look at that. Really, the only data that I would find useful, if I take that out, take this out, would be word count, possibly. Maybe page count, maybe page count. It really depends. So if you're writing a novel and you have, or even if you're writing a single um, project, right? You have it split across multiple files, which you have to hit a word count on, say, some big blog post, some big piece you're writing for someone. This can be a good tool to help you see all of the words in your folder for that project. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you love it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened and all that YouTube nonsense. You know what it is. Otherwise, the best thing to do is support the channel. Become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Or go to Skillshare. Links to that are below. Have an awesome day.